Today we watching new game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This is a great nostalgic game for all fans of the 19th and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On June 16, Tribute Games Studio released a new game about the iconic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It is available on absolutely all platforms PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. What's more, it's free on Game Pass subscribers, so we have already completed the walkthrough and ready to share our impressions of how nostalgic adventure turned out. Even before the release, the developers stated that Shredder's Ranch was not going to the Reinvent the Wheel. This is a classic beat'em and many played in their early childhood. The authors just want to play a tribute to the beloved animated series of 1987 and many games that came out on 19th, and they didn't cheat. The events of the new turtles begins with the fact that Shredder and his minions once again plot a new plan. The revive Crank, subdue the Statue of Liberty and wipe New York from the face of the earth. Our heroes decided to fight for the city and go after the indicious villains. Of course, we did not come here to follow the intricacies of the plot, but to fill the faces of the opponents. And with this Shredder's range scopes admirably. The game is divided into the dozen and a half levels. At the end of each of them some powerful boss, known from comics or animated series, is waiting. The locations themselves are built as simply as possible. We go to the left or the right to mut and kill all opponents that come to hand. In addition to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge is playable as April O'Neil, Splinter's teacher and Casey Jones. The combat season of the Stars from the Sky is lacking, however it copes with the only task, to be very fun. The player has several moves at to the, his disposal. The usual combo of couple of hits, a grapple followed by an opponent's throw or jump kick, and the special move that can be used after the adrenaline bar is full. With it, you can destroy a large cluster of enemies in a split second and feel like a real martial arts master. The lever fun in Shredder Revenge directly depends on the number of players. In theory, the game can be completely run alone, but it will be not as fun as will a crowd of friends. Fortunately, the game has not only a local code, but also the ability to gather on the internet. And if suddenly all of your friends are busy, then you can find teammates simply through the searching game itself. However, even in the company, the shortcomings of the nostalgic approach often slip through. Shredder's Revenge has a lot of sore games from 19th. The combat system, throw perky, is too simple and almost one button. Almost all enemies are a colorful ninjas and small robots that fly in a couple of hits. The situation gets better toward the end, but the overall impressions is still blurred. Peculiarly, Isometric locations play it of a cruel joke with flying opponents. It's very difficult to hit them due to the fact that their position in space is completely incomprehensible. To understand whether they are on the top, bottom or in the center, you can only use the poke method, especially in a situation where the developers for some reason do not the double jump mechanics. Someone may also not like the fact that an action is completed in just a couple of hours. Just warm it up and already the game of game. For such gamers, the office has added newspapers, VHS types and other materials scattered through the levels. Fans can also replay the game on the higher difficulty. And if that's not enough, developers have prepared an arcade mode with hard court conditions, with a limited number of lives and increased damage from the enemy. It definitely won't look like too much. New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a very worthy project for any fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and simply perky action games. This is a real gift to the fans from the fans and just a wonderful game it's which you can spend a couple fun evenings. Yes, it is, has f few flaws, but who cares? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back in their original form, and that's great. Thank you for watching, guys, and bye-bye.